హలో అండి ఐమ్ డాక్టర్ పి వికాస్ రెడ్డి ఐమ్ రేడియాలజిస్ట్ విత్ సన్షైన్ హాస్పిటల్స్ ఐ వాట్ స్పెషలైజ్ ట్రైనింగ్ ఇన్ ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ కార్డియాక్ రేడియాలజీ సో టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ రోల్ ఆఫ్ రేడియాలజీ ఇన్ కార్డియాక్ డిసీజెస్ విత్ స్పెషల్ ఎంఫసిస్ ఆన్ కొరోనరీ ఆర్టి డిజీజ్ టుడే ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టెల్ యూ ఆల్ వెదర్ యూ డ్ రిక్వైర్ అ సిటీ కొరోనరీ ఆంజియోగ్రఫీ అండ్ ఏ కాల్షియం స్కోరింగ్ ఆర్ నాట్ వన్ ఆఫ్ యూర్ ఫ్యామిలీ మెంబర్స్ ఆర్ క్లోజ్ అసోసియేట్ హూ సఫర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ అ మేజర్ అడ్వర్స్ కొరోనరీ ఈవెంట్ see that could be an heart attack or an admission in an hospital due to chest pain or a sudden cardiac death so what is heart attack in simple language heart attack is because of the blockage of coronary arteries that supply the blood flow to the heart muscle so what happens is as the age advances there is the deposition of cholesterol and various other substances which cause narrowing or blockage of the coronary arteries so traditionally there have been various methods of screening the heart uh, one of them being echo ecg or a tmt treadmill test so we at sunshine uh, in collaboration with the cardiac cardiology department have been encouraging people to get calcium scoring or a ct coronary angiography done so first let's discuss about the calcium scoring so calcium scoring is basically estimation of amount of calcium in the coronary arteries it is a non invasive test we do not inject any contrast it takes hardly around 10 to 15 seconds to complete the scan so once we are done with the calcium scoring we get what is called as an agastin scoring this is automatically calculated by the machine so with the agastin value you get to gauge the amount of atherosclerosis in the vessels on an example your calcium scoring is 0 calcium score of 0 is good for you it means there is no calcium in the vessels the interpretation of this would be there is likely no coronary artery disease the calcium score could go as high as 5000 to 8000 with the increase in calcium score there is an increased risk of having a adverse coronary event so interpretation is again high calcium score high risk of having a coronary artery disease so if your calcium score is around 100 how it is interpreted is there is four times increased risk of having a coronary event compared to a person who has a calcium score of 0 so this is done by a cardiologist and then like depending on your calcium score you are advised to have further investigations or go for lifestyle modifications and then like dietary habit changes or some medications to change the disease process indian scenario uh, for a person who is completely asymptomatic who doesn't have any chest symptoms and a calcium score is zero the chance of him having a coronary artery event is around 5 to 10% so isolated calcium scoring for an asymptomatic person is okay but if the patient comes with a chest symptoms like pain or some breathlessness and he has a calcium score of 0 then he is advised to go for a ct coronary angiography or the other patients who are advised to go for ct coronary angiography are high risk patients like who have diabetes hypertension or who family member had a sudden cardiac arrest at a young age these subset of people are advised to go for further investigation in the name of ct coronary angiography ct coronary angiography is again a non invasive test it takes hardly around 15 to 20 minutes to complete the scan all you have to do is there are few pre procedural uh, things which you have to do you have to take some medication to lower your heart rate to 60 to 65 beats per minute and then on the day of the scan you again come down we check your heart rate if the heart rate is high we give some medications uh, and during the procedure we inject iv contrast around 1 ml per kg suppose you are 70 kgs of body weight we inject around 70 ml of contrast and then we get detailed images of inside of your heart we look at the blood vessels with more precision and then we decide if there is any narrowing or any blockage depending on that the further course of action can be initiated
So the negative predictive value of CTCA or CT coronary angiography is 99 to 100%. So what does that mean? If I as a radiologist tell you that your CT coronary is normal, it is normal. Not only me, any decent radiologist interprets a CTCA as a normal, it's normal. We advise you to get heart screening done for all your family members and your close associates. This was not to scare you about any heart attack or something, but it was basically to remove that apprehension regarding the heart diseases, to get that smile on your face, which we all at Sunshine strive day in and day out for our patients. Thanks a lot. Sunshine, it's